Hey guys, I'm Elise and you're watching the I Fucking Love Science Show. So, my top story this week. The theory that life first began elsewhere in the solar system and then was transferred to Earth via meteorites got a boost. Current theory suggests that for life to form, you need organic compounds, energy, and either molybdenum or boron. Both of these elements were very rare on Earth four billion years ago, but a study released this week suggests that molybdenum was abundant on Mars at the time. We already know thanks to meteorite analysis that boron was common, and results from the Curiosity rover suggest that organic compounds were present too. All of this suggests that conditions on Mars four billion years ago were much more hospitable to the formation of life than conditions were on Earth. Let me know what you think about the possibilities of panspermia in the comments section. In a world first, an Australian woman has become pregnant from eggs that developed an ovarian tissue transplanted into her abdomen. The woman was rendered infertile by treatment for ovarian cancer. Before the treatment, doctors froze her ovarian tissue and then transplanted it back into her body, and then stimulated it using hormone treatment. This then produced healthy eggs, and she is now 26 weeks pregnant. Fewer than 30 children worldwide have been born using this treatment, but this was a world first as tissue was transplanted back into a different area of the body. This is a huge advance for the field and has the potential to completely revolutionise how we treat fertility. The Ugly Animal Society has decided that far too much conservation money is dedicated to animals that we consider to be cute, like the panda. Sure, they hardly eat anything and they refuse point blank to to reproduce, but they have giant heads and look like great big teddy bears, so we all donate all our money every time they pop up on the television. But what about the animals that are ugly? They're endangered too. So the Ugly Animal Society is inviting you to vote on your favourite ugly animal in an awareness raising mission. So what's your favourite? The blobfish? The pig nosed frog? The kakapo? Perhaps the Titicaca scrotum water frog? Links are in the info section, go and vote for your favourite ugly animal. In a finding that caused glee for headline writers everywhere, Trojans were discovered lurking around Uranus. Trojans are objects that orbit the Sun on a similar orbital path as a planet. We actually have one of our own. Asteroid 2010 TK7 has a diameter of about 300 meters and follows our path. The object found near Uranus is thought to be part of a larger group of transient objects temporarily caught by Uranus's gravitational pull. This finding is actually really, really unexpected because until now astronomers had believed that any Trojans orbiting Uranus would be expelled and destabilized by the neighboring giant planets. A survey of more than 3,000 scientists across all 50 states found that approximately 20% of American scientists have considered moving out of the country due to budget cuts. This graph shows the change in percentage of GDP invested in research since 2011 across various countries. I'm kind of reluctant to start an argument on politics and the economy, but what do you think? Should we be investing in science at a time of financial crisis? The discovery of some astonishingly long-lived microbes buried deep under the ocean floor was announced this week. They were found in sediments that are around 100 million years old, and it's thought they only reproduce once every 10,000 years. The ecosystem down there was found to be surprisingly diverse. They found bacteria, fungi, and viruses buried 2.5 kilometers under the ocean floor. Scientists have successfully simulated the conditions present at the start of our universe. They used ultra-cold cesium atoms in a vacuum chamber to produce a pattern resembling cosmic microwave background radiation in a laboratory simulation of the Big Bang. CMB is thermal radiation left over from the Big Bang that can still be detected today. In fact, you can watch it yourself on your TV or radio. Between 1 and 10% of the static you can hear is CMB. You're literally listening to the traces of the Big Bang. Science broke a world record this week. Researchers created the world's fastest known man-made spinning object. The team were able to levitate and spin a microscopic sphere by only using laser light in a vacuum. This sphere spun up to 600 million revolutions a minute before it broke apart, which is more than a thousand times faster than a dental drill. And finally, my bizarre story of the week. A new building in London reminded us why it's so incredibly important not to sleep through physics classes. A 52 foot, 200 million pound building has been renamed the Walkie Scorchy after its concave glass surfaces managed to melt cars. A Jaguar XJ was left with warped panels and accompanied by a smell of burning plastic. Other cars were left in a similar condition and engineers have promised urgent action to make sure it doesn't happen again. Thanks for watching everyone. More information about all of these stories is in the information section. I will see you next week.